Hey, how's it going? It's Sophia here from Zen Guidance. I hope all is well with you today and thank you for clicking on this pick a card reading. So in this video, we're going to be looking at your next 48 hours. So the 48 hours will begin the second you've finished watching this video. All you need to do is choose one of the three images on your screen. Feel free to pause the video here if you do need some time. And once you've made your choice, you can go to the description box below where you'll find the corresponding timestamps to your chosen pile. You'll also find the link to my website. So if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, that's where you'll find all the information. Okay, so let's get into your reading now. Click the timestamp and I'll see you there. Okay, hi group one. So let's take a look at your next 48 hours. Okay, what's going to be happening for you over the next 48 hours? Okay, your next 48 hours, group one, what's going to be happening? Oh, okay, so we've got Uranus, change, Pluto, rebirth, and then Sagittarius, expand. Okay, so interesting beginning here, group number one. So your next 48 hours, you could be traveling somewhere, okay? You could be going on a trip. Now, for some of you, it may be an unexpected trip, okay? Because Uranus represents changes, unexpected changes, okay? Things that can also be quite shocking in different ways. So, yeah, there may be some form of travel plan, travel change. So if you know that you're going on a trip in the next 48 hours, just be very cautious or open to the fact that the plans may shift, okay? There is an element of shock and disruption here, especially as we have Pluto as well. This can represent some kind of an ending or something that's very intense. OK, I do feel like it will be quite an intense couple of days because even with Sagittarius there, which is ruled by Jupiter and Jupiter expands whatever it connects to. So it like can be big energy. So whether it connects to something good, it'll be big positive energy. If it connects to something bad, it'll be big negative energy but i'm not seeing either or at this moment in time i just feel like it will be quite shocking in a way okay so definitely i feel like there's movement or maybe even somebody that's traveling to you like they may have a delayed flight or something or a cancelled flight or yeah they may need to rearrange something okay this may also be that you receive some kind of unexpected communication from somebody that lives far away okay so yeah it could be some form of long distance communication here I'm also seeing a lot of clouds, a lot of wind. So there may be a storm where you are located, okay? Or it could be like it's just the weather is going to be quite cloudy. I do see the sun sort of trying to break through. But yeah, I'm also seeing here, it's making me think of snow and think of like hailstones, think of rain. So yeah, I don't know. For some of you, there's definitely going to be some kind of a storm, I feel like, okay? Um, I'm also seeing a leak here. For some of you might experience some kind of a leak. Um, something connected to the plumbing as well. Yeah, so there could be something unexpected with plumbing, with leaks. Um, okay, so let's see what else is coming through in your next 48 hours. What else is going to be happening? I'm also seeing long blonde hair here, which I've never really drawn to in this card, but I'm really drawn to it here. So I don't know if this is somebody you're going to connect with that has very long blonde hair, long white hair, somebody that has strong abs as well is what I'm seeing. But let's just get some more information. What's gonna be happening in your next 48 hours, group one? Action, wow, okay. And simplicity. Okay, so I feel like the next 48 hours will start off quite slowly, okay? Or will be quite calm in a way, okay? So I feel like the shocking events and things that occur will maybe be in the following part of the 48 hours. So it might be like 24 hours from now. Because yeah, I feel like things are gonna be quite calm, but even see how this feather is floating, floating in the sky. So it's like, again, it's giving me wind, lots of wind, a lot of rushing around, a lot of movement here. We've got action. So you're definitely gonna be taking action, being on the move. You may even go for a run, okay? For some of you, you know, even if you're not specifically traveling somewhere further afield, this may be you running, okay, somewhere local, uh, whether that's outside, or whether that's in a gym, whether that's even just running around at home 
or running around after kids, for example, or running around just in general, keeping busy. Okay, it just feels like you are going to be taking a lot of action. Like, I don't feel like you're going to be sort of having a restful couple of days. It does feel like there's a lot of movement. Okay, so maybe you're going to be working. Maybe it depends what your job is, obviously, but there may be a lot of movement connected to what you do for work. Okay, or whatever is going on within your normal routine. Even though I do feel like things are definitely being shaken up here, I'm almost seeing like a blender. Like your next 48 hours, like everything that's happening is kind of being put into a blender, being spun round. So yeah, it may even be like your normal routine, but then everything kind of shakes up a little bit. Like, so I don't know, say you're used to working from this time to this time, that may change. Or again, maybe there will be some sort of delay or there'll be a shift in that kind of pattern. I'm seeing here. So definitely changes, but definitely a lot of movement. Okay. Like I said, you're not going to be stuck stagnantly, not doing a lot. Um, but then, yeah, I mean, the fact that we've got the white feather as well, it's giving me spiritual protection for you. So I do feel like everything that is occurring over these next 48 hours is for your spiritual protection, which may not always feel like it in the moment, but I do feel when you look back on this, you'll be able to see, yeah, okay, this was meant to happen. Okay. And I understand why this happened. So maybe that there is a need to streamline things, okay? That may be what is needed here in terms of the simplicity, in terms of the shakeup of the routine, because maybe you are needing some downtime, maybe you are needing some quiet, and this affords you the ability later on to be able to have this kind of downtime here, okay, with the simplicity. But yeah, I just feel like you're starting off the next 48 hours and yeah, quite a relaxed mood. It's quite... Yeah, it's definitely giving me very, very calm. But then, like I said, I just don't feel like that calmness is going to last. I feel like there's just going to be, I said, a lot of movement, a lot of shakeups here in your next 48 hours. So let's see. For some of you, you might actually get lost as well if you are traveling further afield. So yeah, definitely keep hold of like, I don't know, the compass on your phone or like directions, maps. Like maybe this could even be something you preemptively do if you know you're traveling on a trip like, on Google Maps or whatever navigation app you might use, like make sure you've got like your home location or the destination in there. So it's, you know, where you're on Wi-Fi, because obviously if you get into a no Wi-Fi zone, you may struggle with being able to find where you're going. So this could be something that you do that simplifies things moving forwards, okay? So whatever you can do to be prepared for the potential disruptions, okay? Of course, like leaving earlier as well. Again, if you know you're going on a trip, leave a bit earlier so it gives you more time if there are, say, roadworks or some other kind of external disruptions. But let's just see what else is coming through for your next 48 hours, group one answering the call okay so yeah you are going to receive a phone call i feel like this is an actual phone call not a text not a dm not an email it feels like a phone call old school phone call okay wounded healer circle of life okay so yeah i feel like you're going to receive a call and i do feel the call is going to make you feel like things have healed in some way with chiron so it may be a phone call that you've been waiting for, okay? Whether this is a romantic call, whether it's about a job, whether it's from a friend, whether it's about travel news, okay? Um, yeah, and I feel like you are being guided to answer your phone because, you know, sometimes if it's a number you don't recognize, you may not want to answer it because maybe it's a scammer or something. But I feel like, yeah, you're going to feel called to answer whatever this phone call is, even if you don't recognize the number, okay? Because... Yeah, I feel like it will come in an unexpected way, and it will also bring about healing, okay? I feel like there may be some tears that flow from this phone call or throughout the phone call, because I'm, I'm seeing a lot of water flowing here. So, and with it being connected to Pluto, yeah, it may be something that, yeah, that talks about an ending or talks about something that was hidden, talks about hidden secrets or hidden emotional depths, Okay, but in some way, it's definitely going to help you to progress and feel better about the situation. So, yeah, the phone call seems to be quite a positive one, even or certainly it will be a positive end result. Even if you don't feel necessarily the phone call itself is positive, you will feel like you can progress because I feel like with this circle of life, I feel like this is you going around in circles. You know, what I was saying earlier about being lost. Okay, so for some of you, it may be very literal, like you will be actually lost and going around in circles, and then you receive a call which helps to put you back on the the right path um, but this could be very much metaphorical where you feel like you are going in circles 
in a relationship, okay, or in a particular situation in your life where you feel like you're needing clarity, you're needing the truth, and I do feel you are going to receive this truth within the next 48 hours, group one. You are going to receive a phone call which will help you to feel like, okay, I've processed this now, I know where I'm going, I know the direction, I know I now need to take action and move forwards, okay? Okay, so we've got winter, take care of your needs. And then druid, hold the space. So yeah, again, beginning of the next 48 hours does feel much more slow. Okay, it feels like, yeah, maybe you're relaxing. Obviously right now as you're watching this video, you're probably sat down, laying down, relaxing. Maybe you're on a break or something. You're just having a little bit of you time, you know? This is what I see for you in the beginning. So yeah, I feel like this is you just being very chilled, holding the space like maybe being very open to allowing situations to change and unfold. Maybe you don't have a vast amount of plans over the next couple of days, but then things are definitely gonna change as we can see here. There's so much action moving forwards, okay? So yeah, I just feel like you're gonna be in a bit of a, a waiting phase. This gives me like standby energy as well. Like So again, this could be for a flight or something, you could be on standby, or again, you could be on standby waiting for a partner or a friend or a family member to call you, okay? Maybe even information about a job or, you know, about your career, something that you are, yeah, you're waiting to hear more information about. So you're kind of just there like, I'm just chill. Like, I don't see you being stressed about it, though. I see you just being quite relaxed, okay? And then things are definitely going to move forwards. And then we've got winter, take care of your needs. So I feel like whatever this action is that you're going to be taking by the end of the next 48 hours, it's going to be for you, okay? It'll be towards what you want, what you need, okay? It's given me very much self-care energy, okay? So, yeah, this could be something as well that you're planning for the winter time. Or maybe you're watching this within winter, that could be it. Um, but I feel like there will be this need for you to almost want to hibernate, okay? Even though there's a lot of this action going on, you may feel like you want to kind of hide away, like you don't want to be so out there in some form. So yeah, I feel like there's a part of you that wants to, yeah, like I said, hibernate. But then I'm also feeling, because it's a wolf here, I'm getting leader of the pack energy. So you may be somebody that's in charge, or maybe this is what this call is about, okay? Or it's able to put you in a position where you are leading other people, whether you're doing this intentionally or not. This could be something you post, for example, on social media, or I don't know, something that you're doing for your business, where other people are kind of looking up to you, or maybe are waiting for you to give them the go ahead for something. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna get fishbowl messages now. Where did I put the fishbowl? Let's take a look, group number one. Oh my God, I'm knocking everything here. Okay, so your next 48 hours, what's going to be happening for you? We've got a couple that flew out there. I'll get those in a moment. Let's have a look. Maybe just one or two more. Okay, oh, sad. Oh no. We don't like that. Okay, we've got, yeah, sad. So yeah, you may be a bit sad at different points. Again, that does make sense with that wounded healer. So again, this information may make you feel sad at first, but then you feel like it was meant to be, okay? And like I said, it sometimes we need to hear the truth or we need to understand something which can then help to put us in the trajectory of something better, okay? Um, but it could also be someone else is sad, Okay, someone else is sad around you, somebody else you know personally is going to be crying, okay, or could be affected by whatever this chaos or this news is. Um, so yeah, we've got sad, we've got this week, okay, so even though it's a 48 hour reading, it may be that a lot of these events are going to be unfolding as the week progresses, okay, or it might be that it, you know, it, this situation carries through for the rest of the week. So this will be the 48 hours, of course, but yeah, I feel like it will, it's not just going to end here. Whatever this call is, whatever this situation that changes, it's going to affect the rest of your week, okay? And um, we've got confidence. So this may be you're feeling very confident within yourself, okay? Because we also have, oh yeah, fix and take control of what you can and don't force it. So this is very much about, yeah, releasing control, which also Pluto represents here. Pluto is about power and control issues. So <clears throat> again, there will be things that are out of your hands, 
that you are being guided not to force. Don't force any situations. Don't force things to happen. It will just happen organically. And so I feel like this is why you'll be quite confident because again, maybe you'll, you will feel sad at points or disappointed or maybe you will have it, be having to disappoint someone else. But at the same time, I feel like you're going to be in that position of it is what it is at the end of the day. I can only do what I can do to change the situation on my end. I can't force the situation on the external. I can't force somebody else to feel some way or to say something or to, or, you know, the flight to go ahead the way that I want it to, or the travel plans or whatever it may be, you know, if there are roadworks or anything else like that, that is sort of these disruptive energies. Okay. It's like, you don't have control over it. So I feel like you're going to be in that place of just, I let go, I let go and it is what it is. Okay. So what else do we have here? We've got news incoming. Yes. I'm really not surprised to see that. Okay. After what's just come through, there is news. You are going to receive some kind of news. I really do feel like it's a phone call. Uh, for some of you may still, re 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 oh my God, re receive, that's the word, receive some news in other ways. Of course, you could still receive news, you know, into, um, through technology and other ways, but I'm really feeling it's a phone call. Um, we've got you cast a spell on me. So you may be feeling someone else has cast a spell on you. You may be feeling, someone else may feel like you've cast a spell on them. Okay, someone may even say this to you. Okay, then we've got tattoos. Okay, so it could be you're gonna be connecting with somebody that has tattoos. Okay, maybe some of you are going to get a tattoo. Okay, that could also be something unexpected. Maybe you do that impulsively. Okay, maybe if some of you are on a holiday and you decide to go and get one with your friends or with your partner or something, uh, could be. And then we've got lovers of animals and nature. So yeah, it could even be like you see, um, yeah, you could see like a husky dog. Okay, you may, yeah, see husky. And the thing is, it could even be online. It could be through social media. You could see like a really cute video of a husky or a wolf. Okay, or other animals in nature you may feel very drawn to. Um, you may even find like an injured animal or something, maybe on the road or I don't know. Like I feel like it's unexpected connected to animals and nature, but I also feel like this is what's gonna be very healing for you, group one. Like as and when you feel, you might feel a bit stressed or that, that there's a lot going on, like you may decide, you know, I'm just gonna go and hug this tree or I'm gonna go stand in nature for a little while or I'm gonna go stroke my pet or something. Like just giving yourself some connection to earthly energy, to animals and nature, okay? Which I feel like is, yeah, it is gonna be very grounding for you. And it kind of feels like more so as well, like, because this is giving me all this very green energy, earthy energy in the beginning. So the first beginning of this 48 hours, I feel like you will be more connected to animals and nature. But I do feel it's a reminder when you're going through this upheaval, these, these changes, these healing energies, this action, that nature will also be very helpful and healing for you, okay? If you do feel stressed out, if you do feel sad or out of control in some way, um, I feel like it will help to shift your confidence in that sense, okay, group one? So a very interesting couple of days it looks like it's gonna be for you. So I'm very much intrigued to hear what you what you think, if this resonates with you. If it does, please comment a pink emoji or anything of your choice. Of course, it's a prediction, so you may not know what's happening yet, but please do feel free to come back to this video and let me know in the comments how this did play out for you. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website and my TikTok is below. I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now. Hi, group two. So let's take a look at your next 48 hours. Okay, what's going to be happening in your next 48 hours? And remember, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're drawn to this is when it's meant for you. Okay, and as soon as the video is finished is when this will, time frame will apply. Okay, so let's take a look. What's going to be happening in your next 48 hours, group two? What's going to be happening for you? What's going to be happening for you? Okay, so we've got Venus. Debilitated. Second house. Okay, and then Neptune. Okay, so group number two so immediately i'm getting something about money here okay because venus not only does it represent relationships and love but it also represents money okay and we've got the second house of resources here so yeah i feel like it's definitely something connected to money i do feel things are going to be going well as a whole but i do sense that there is some sort of debilitating 
I can't say it, debilitation, okay, where you may feel there might be something that you want to buy, but you don't quite have enough to either buy it yet, or you may feel like you have to wait for something, okay? Maybe even somebody says they've got you a gift, but then you're, you're, you have to wait for the gift, okay? Like you're not able to receive it just yet, okay? There's something that makes you feel restricted, makes you feel uncomfortable. Hmm. But I love to see Venus here regardless, because I feel like this shows that you are going to have a lot of things that you find pleasure in over the next 48 hours. Like you will enjoy as a whole, I feel like the next 48 hours, bar this discomfort feeling. So there will be something that, like I said, will make you feel a bit uncomfortable. It may be, yeah, somebody like you, maybe you owe somebody money or maybe there are bills due this week or something. Um, so it may be that, yeah, you're having to kind of scrape to either pay the bills or maybe you're needing to, like I said, there's something that you want to purchase but you don't feel like, yeah, you're at that position, you can quite do it yet. So yeah, you may have to delay in purchasing something. But then we've also got Neptune here, which can create a lot of confusion. It's like putting creating a fog over your eyes. Like, like if you're trying to look through a camera lens, but it's dirty, you know, it's like, it's, yeah, it's got a fingerprint on it or something like you can't quite make out. Like you can see the shapes, but you can't make out the details of it. So yeah, there's something that kind of seems a bit muggy. That's the word I just wanted to come out with, muggy. Um, it may also be the temperature, like uh, the weather of where you are. That it might be a bit muggy, quite close, like you may feel quite hot. That could also be what the uncomfortable feeling is. Okay, you may feel quite hot and uncomfortable within your body. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting there. But also I feel like there is something very spiritual happening for you in the next 48 hours because... Neptune connects to Pisces, okay, Pisces is very spiritual, very creative, okay, but also very fluid, okay, there's a lot, it's a lot of changeable energy, so things aren't set in stone the next 48 hours for you, I do feel like, yeah, there's the potential for a lot of different changes to occur here, um, I also feel like there's something about your health, something about your health. So again, for some of you, may, maybe you've been a bit ill, maybe you're ill in bed watching this at the moment. So that could also be how you feel debilitated because maybe as well, you've had to take extra time off work recently. So maybe your, your pay packet isn't gonna be as great as it would be before. So that could be what leads to an uncomfortable feeling in finances or it may be, like I said, you're, maybe you're self-employed. So you're not able to earn money when you're off sick. So that could also be what causes that discomfort discomfort for you okay but let's get some more information let's see what else am i picking up intuitively here it's weird though because even though i feel like there will be some level of discomfort potentially financially but this could like i said be connected to health but also could be connected to a relationship okay there may be an uncomfortable conversation that is had um but i do feel like mysterious money is coming in Money that you are not expecting is coming in, which I feel like is gonna make you very happy, okay? But like I said, it feels like it's coming out of nowhere almost. So yeah, like I said, maybe it's somebody that owes you money and you forgot about it and then they pay you back. Uh, it could be like a tax rebate or it could be a bonus of some kind, okay? Or maybe somebody just wants to give you a gift, a monetary gift of some kind. Let's just see, your next 48 hours, group number two. Okay, so we've got community. And flow. Okay. So yeah, I do feel like you will go with the flow these next 48 hours. I don't feel like any of your plans are gonna to be too rigid or too set in stone. I feel like, yeah, there's a lot of malleability here within your next 48 hours. So I feel like, and this will definitely be the best energy for you to be in, to try not to control things too much, okay? Because maybe you have a lot of plans for the next 48 hours, but it may be that that's part of the discomfort. Certain plans that you had may shift may be delayed, may change in some way. So yeah, the best energy you can be in is to allow yourself to just flow, to not try to control things that are outside of your power to change, okay? Now the butterflies here are giving me energy of transformation, okay? Maybe you're also seeing a lot of butterflies at the moment, or you may also see a beautiful rainbow 
these next 48 hours. I'm definitely seeing a very strong, beautiful rainbow here. So yeah, you could see a rainbow. But it may also be you see some kind of symbology of a rainbow and butterflies, okay? It doesn't have to be literal like you see the actual butterflies or rainbow in the sky. You may see them online. You may even see, I don't know, say you walk into a shop and then there's like a, a rainbow logo or, I don't know, item of clothing or something like that that you see and that you're really drawn to. Okay, but I also feel like you will be out in your local community. Like I don't see like major traveling, like further afield or anything. I feel like this could be like you staying more within, like I said, your local community, your local hometown or city or wherever you are. Because I feel like you'll be connected to people that you know that live locally to you or that you're friendly with. Because this is about connecting to your community here. Now, for some of you, it'll be an online community as well. If you have an online presence, an online business or social media platform. There's something about being very connected to the people that are very close to you, okay? Now, you may also be getting some kind of beauty treatment over the next couple of days, okay? That's just something else that I'm getting here. Like maybe you're booked in to have your makeup or your hair done or your nails or maybe even something, you know, aesthetic um, in terms of like Botox. For some of you, I do, I'm seeing like the even though that's an arrow, it kind of looks like a needle, okay? So for some of you may be getting that. Um, some of you may be getting something connected to your teeth as well. Like maybe you have to have an injection, or maybe this is even health, like a B12 injection or a vitamin C pack or something, okay? So let's just see what else is coming through for you over the next 48 hours. I'm also seeing the spiral staircase here. So you may also go somewhere where there is this kind of winding staircase that you go up. Okay, so we've got Hermit, Hunter, so track down your fears and desires and then retreat and recharge. So yeah, I do feel like a lot of this time you will be spent at home or maybe half of this time you will spend at home. I do feel like you will be spending some time alone, even though I do see you connecting with people in your community. It may be, for example, for some of you, this will be connecting people with people more on an online basis, okay? Connected to videos as well because Neptune can represent video production. So it could even be that you're at home making videos or something, or that you're home watching videos or watching movies. You could be in a place of escapism as well. Okay, so you could be yeah, listening to a lot of music, um, connecting with yourself. I do see you doing some form of meditation, yoga, um, spending time relaxing, retreating and recharging. Okay, but Hermit is Virgo energy. So again, it might be that you are spending a bit of time alone, but then you dip in and out of connecting with other people, okay? So Because I don't feel like you're going to spend the whole 48 hours alone, but I do feel in part you are going to spend some time holding back from other people, giving yourself a nice uh, rest, okay? And then we've also got the track down your fears and desires. So I do feel like, to me, it's giving me money, it's giving me health, it's giving me physical appearance okay in terms of your desires but it could also be connected to love and romance with venus there okay it could be that you are feeling this need to go after what you want or who you want in these next 48 hours okay because this is you tracking down what it is you desire so it may not necessarily be that you take action towards getting what you want because i feel like that might be also what the debilitation is where you feel like this is what i want but I can't move forwards towards it yet. Like I have to hold back or I have to wait. So again, it might be, again, you wanna buy something, you wanna do something, but maybe you don't have all the money you need straight away. You may have to wait a few days or to the end of the next 48 hours before you're able to do so. Or maybe you're waiting to meet up with somebody to have a conversation about your connection. But it's like, yeah, there'll be some sort of a block, some sort of a hold I'm sensing here. Okay, so your next 48 hours. I'm gonna look at the fish bowl as well in just a moment. Okay, so we've got first chakra, Angel Michael. What's going to be happening in your next 48? Oh, okay, we've had two fly out here. So we've got victory and healer of the ages. Okay. So. Yeah, there will be something that you do feel like hasn't gone to plan, okay? Which I understand is probably disappointing to hear, but you guys know I'm always gonna be upfront with what I see. And 
not every day is going to always be sunshine and rainbows. There are going to be days where there are blocks. There are going to be days that are frustrating in life, of course. And I feel like, you know, these next 48 hours, is going to be a lot of personal wins, but then a couple of personal losses potentially. Again, I feel like this connects to this card where you feel like, yeah, you can't move forwards with something or you haven't achieved something that you wanted or you haven't bought something you wanted or again, maybe an appointment gets cancelled or yeah, I feel like it's definitely going to trigger you. Okay, like there is this part of you that feels like you need to move forwards, like you really, really desire something, like it's something, it's very visceral, it's like a physical reaction, um, but then it feels like, yeah, you're not getting exactly what you want, but then you will be healed, the situation will be healed by the end of the next 48 hours, I feel, so yeah, if you've been feeling unwell, I do feel like maybe you're going to come across some healing information, okay, that helps you to feel better, maybe certain vitamins to take, or medications, or some kind of therapy, something that you didn't know previously, but that you will know by the end of the next 48 hours that will help you to heal, that will help you to feel better within yourself, so again, this could be healing your physical health, it could be healing your financial health, so again, even if it might be a delay in getting some kind of money, okay, but then it will be healed by the end, so it's like, again, maybe it's just a delay, okay, or maybe it will even change your mind as to what you really want, because sometimes it's like, you think you want something so much, but then when it comes down to it, if you actually have to spend money on it, it can be a different thing, so I say like, if you go shopping and you've not got much money to spend, it's like you can want everything, because it's almost like, well, you can want everything if you can't buy anything, but when you've actually got money to spend, you're going to be more discerning about what you actually do end up buying, so something you thought you really wanted, but when it comes down to it, you think, actually, I don't really want it that much, Okay, so there's something here I feel like you may even shift your mindset on after not receiving it, because again, sometimes we think we want something or someone so much, we don't see that there's a better opportunity that will come next, okay, rejection is protection, as they say, so yeah, there may be something, again, that you feel like didn't quite, or doesn't quite work out for you, but it will work out in your favour, afterwards so just just know that group two whatever you go through these next two days something will definitely shift which will help you feel better because again you've got divine protection here it is going to trigger you it is also going to help you to realize what you really want okay because sometimes you need to lose something to know how much you want it or yeah to lose the opportunity or for something else to come along in its replacement to realize how much you do or you don't want that thing okay, because especially even if something better comes along, it makes you think, actually, yeah, I thought I wanted this so much, but now I see something else, now I want this even more, okay, so let's take a look at your fishbowl messages group two, what's going to be happening over your next 48 hours, please, what's going to be happening for you in your next 48 hours, what's going to be happening for you in your next 48 hours, all right, so we've got travel, okay, so yeah, you may be traveling, but again, I wasn't really getting a strong vibe of travel, not, not long distance travel, but again, this might be traveling locally, it gives me third house energy of like, yeah, traveling to your local shop, traveling to the gym, traveling to work, traveling to school, whatever it may be, um, but it may be as well that you plan a travel trip, okay, maybe this is something that doesn't go to plan initially, but something else comes out in its replacement, so maybe you'd plan to go to a specific location, but then something occurs where it's like, oh no, I can't go there now, but then you have to go to somewhere else, so it'll be some, somewhere better, potentially, okay, so yeah, I definitely feel like travel will be on your mind, whether you actually are moving around, or whether you are thinking about a trip, we've got lawyer, so you may be connected to somebody that works in law over the next couple of days, you may have to deal with contracts, of some kind, maybe you are a lawyer, or you practice law, or again, you're going to be connected with something contractual in some way, oh, we've got hold the line, which again makes sense with that debilitation, again, something you feel like will be put on hold, maybe for some of you literally will be on hold on the phone, like somebody's going to say, can you just hold the line please, okay, so you may have to be, yeah, calling through to someone, and you're having to wait, there's definitely something about needing to wait, And then we've got new feelings, interesting, ninth house, detached, and then eleventh house, oh, and a little bonus one, oh, inner demons, okay, hmm, 
So yeah, you may feel like you have to contend with inner demons. For some of you, I'm getting a bit of jealousy here. You may have feelings of jealousy over the next couple of days, but please don't beat yourself up for this, okay? Because jealousy can help to inspire you to know what it is that you really desire. Okay? Because that's all jealousy is there to do. It's, it's there to help you realize, okay, if you're jealous of somebody that's got something that you don't have, it just helps to highlight specifically for you that it's something that you really want, okay? So again, rather than beating yourself up for feeling this way, just acknowledge, okay, this is what I really want. Okay, but yeah, I mean, we've got these inner demons. You may feel like you're struggling with them at times. It's, to me, it's giving me overthinking, like overthinking, anxiety, stressing out about the future, not kind of going with the flow so much. So this could be what this inner demon connects to. Then we've got detached here. So I do feel you will become quite detached, even though there may be some frustration, there may be some upset a little bit, there may be like a confusion about having to hold or having to wait. But I feel like you're going to be in quite a, a detached place, like you're not going to be getting too emotional about anything, not getting too stressed out. Again, you may have these thoughts that pop up that may feel like these inner demons, but as a whole, I feel like you are going to be quite detached, which is nice to see. I mean, we've got new feelings here. So it could be that you meet somebody, a new romantic partner, okay, that you, you have new feelings for, or maybe it's somebody that you already know, could be a friend, okay, because we've got the 11th house and community here, which can represent friendships. It can represent large groups of people, okay? It can also represent unexpected activity, humanitarian rights, charities, animal welfare. So yeah, these could obviously be areas of life that you're also connected to over the next couple of days. But I just feel like there's something about the feelings that connects to this, okay? So maybe either you'll receive or feel like you have new feelings for somebody that you already know over the next couple of days or somebody you know will start to have new feelings for you, okay? And they may express that to you. But this might also be something you feel like you have to wait for. Again, you're waiting for information. You're waiting to hear back about what they think or what they feel, and then we've got the ninth house, okay, which does again connect to travel, but this is connected to long distance travel. So for some of you, you may truly be traveling, or maybe this is what you feel debilitated over, okay? But I really feel like travel is a big thing here, like, and long distance. So yeah, you'll either be planning a holiday, you'll have to wait for something. Maybe you're gonna be calling like a flight company or something, but you're having to wait, okay? Because yeah, there might be a big queue or something. Um, yeah, for some of you, maybe you will be in a big queue of some kind. And maybe that's why you feel this need to retreat and recharge afterwards, especially if you've spent a lot of time with, with groups of people, then you just feel like you need some space. But yeah, I definitely feel like you're either going to be planning a trip or traveling somewhere quite far after you spend some time retreating and recharging. I just don't really feel like there's a huge amount of travel here actually happening. But like I said, it may be that something is postponed for a few days afterwards, okay? Or there's, yeah, a change of plan in some way. But this could also be you connect to somebody that has strong Sagittarius, strong Aquarius in their chart. Somebody that lives very far away, could be a long distance connection that's coming through here. Somebody that has new feelings, somebody that expresses those feelings. Or again, maybe you're waiting for somebody to express those feelings. But of course, time will tell. So if this resonates now or later, please come, come back and comment a red emoji, okay? You could, of course, comment anything else that you like, but just putting a red emoji lets me know that it's made sense and that I'm on the right track for you. Or liking the video as well just shows your support. So I appreciate you in advance for doing so. If you did, of course, get some clarity from this video. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website and my TikTok is below for you. I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now. Hi, group three. So let's take a look at your next 48 hours, okay? What's gonna be happening for you over the next 48 hours? Let's see, let's see, group three. What's going to be happening for you over the next 48 hours? Ooh, okay, so we've got the tension aspect in astrology, square, semi-square. We've got Vesta. progressions, journey, and then the fifth house, passion. Okay. It's been a bit of a theme today of travel, okay? And again, it's manifested in different ways for each group, but 
yeah, I'm feeling like there could be, there could be some form of travel going on for you in the next couple of days, whether it's actual travel that you're going through or whether it's plans to travel, okay? You could be uh, planning a holiday, planning a trip for the future, okay? Planning something fun with the fifth house of fun here, it's strong Leo energy. So yeah, it could be that, yeah, you are planning something, something very fun, something fun to do moving forward, something that will help you to progress. But it could be something if you are very a very creative person, if you have a passion project or a business, okay, it could be there's some sort of involvement within this area, okay, that you're going to progress maybe in, within your talents or within, like I said, your business or whatever you find to be very fun, okay. I do feel like there's going to be some fun involved here in your next 48 hours. However, I feel like this is going to be more so at the end of the next 48 hours or that the second half. Because the first half, I feel like maybe a little bit stressful, okay? Just to pre-warn you, we've got tension here, which can show some level of feeling conflicted, okay? Where you feel like you want something, but you're not able to quite get to it in some way. Or for some of you, this may be a, an argument, okay? Some of you may have a heated exchange with somebody. Um, I mean, it may be that you're already coming off the back of this energy, okay? Because it this can sometimes represent anger, stress. I mean, there's a lot of fire actually in three of these cards. So yeah, I definitely feel like something's gonna really fire you up. Now, it doesn't have to be anger. This can be passion. This can be like intimate energy with somebody. So for some of you, you may be actually spending, I'm, I'm trying to be PG for YouTube, but you know, getting quite intimate in a physical way with another person. So for some of you, you may be doing that okay over the next 48 hours you may be spending some quality intimate time with a partner or somebody you care for very deeply um, but again for some of you it may manifest as stress as potential arguments okay because again there's a lot of heat but i'm also getting this sense of you keeping things to yourself here there's a bit of privacy so i'm almost seeing if you do have an argument with somebody you may not tell anybody about it okay or if you get passionate with somebody you may not tell anybody about it you may decide to keep it to yourself so maybe that's a protective energy like you want to protect the connection so you may decide you know what whatever's going on with this person i'm going to keep it to myself okay or it may even be another external circumstance another situation that feels kind of stressful that feels quite tense in a way but then you feel like yeah i'm just going to keep this to myself because i'm needing to progress and in terms of manifestation as well, like you may not want to share your issues because you don't want other people to project what's going on onto you. Like you'd rather let people think that things are going well so they're not projecting negative energy onto you. Interesting. Um, I'm seeing a lot of flowers here as well. Flowers is standing out to me. So if some of you may receive flowers as a gift, okay? Somebody may gift you flowers, which would be very beautiful. Or maybe you will gift flowers to someone. Maybe you'll even paint flowers or you may see a lot of flower imagery, okay? Even just on social media or someone may gift you a card, for example. For some of you, it might be your birthday, okay? Either now or it's coming up. So you may, yeah, receive a birthday card with flowers on it or again, a bunch of flowers that come to you which I think is really beautiful. Um, you may also be doing some kind of art, like I'm seeing art like painting, drawing, sketching, could even be, some of you I just had clothes, some sort of creation with clothes, sewing something, designing some sort of clothing, potentially. Yeah, or maybe even looking online at clothes, like looking at different outfits that you want, maybe even planning an outfit for a particular occasion, okay? And maybe even an outfit has some flowers on it or has some pink or purple there. I'm seeing pink and purple very strongly. Um, I'm also getting a rainbow energy here, so there may be something rainbow-like or maybe you will see a rainbow. Um, I'm also getting a lot of heat here as well. So um, it may be very hot where you are, like in terms of temperature, but it may just be situations that you're dealing with as well can make you feel quite hot quite flustered at times okay so let's get some more information now i'm also seeing something about two o'clock in the afternoon i know that's a very specific time but i feel like something is going to happen around either obviously today depending on when you're watching this obviously it's 48 hours so you'll have two rounds of two o'clocks okay 2 p.m but yeah, something about just before 2 p.m., I'm sensing there's something. I don't know whether this is when you're gonna be doing something creative, when you're gonna be in this tension, or there's something, it's really standing out about 2 p.m., I don't know why. If it's making any sense to you, please comment below. 
Um, let me see. What's going to be happening in your next 48 hours, group three? Your next 48 hours, please. See, what did I say? Like, there's so much about travel today. We've got voyage. Okay, so yeah, I do feel... Yeah, for some of you, maybe you'll be going on a boat. Okay, even though, I mean, it's water energy. It could also be a plane, could be a train, obviously a car, but it feels... I don't know, for some of you it definitely could be a boat or a plane. It feels like long distance to me. So yeah, you could be traveling somewhere. Or again, like I said, you could be planning a trip to go somewhere. For some of you, maybe even whale watching, that could be something that you really love to do, or you would, maybe that's something that you've been dreaming to do. Maybe you'll see, like, like I said, a whale in the ocean, or you may see dolphins or something. Uh, maybe you will be spending time near the ocean. But it definitely makes sense. We've got a lot of movement here. So again, it may not even be literal travel, but it could be progressions, movement within your career, within your passions, within a relationship even. And then we've got release. I'm just gonna get one more actually, please. Spirit, one more, please. And focus. Okay. Hmm, so we've got, this is giving me the autumn energy. Look how beautifully autumn, autumnal this card is. You know, all these beautiful reds, oranges, yellows. So yeah, it could be something that you're planning to happen in the autumn. Maybe you're watching this in the autumn. But yeah, I'm seeing all of these beautiful leaves flowing, but also there's a letting go here with release. So yeah, it may be that you feel like you need to release this connection or need to release the anger or the frustration because yeah, I feel like there's a lot of frustration that's been pent up within you. And there's, yeah, there's definitely this need to let that go. So for, again, for some of you, this could be getting physically intimate with somebody. It could be like a stress reliever for you, okay? Or letting go of an argument, letting go of conflict here. And then turning your attention to something else, like we've got the focus card. So yeah, I do feel like you're gonna be quite focused after whatever this situation is. I don't feel like you'll be focused in this. Okay, like I said, whether it's an argument, whether it's passion, I feel like that will kind of keep you in the present moment, maybe focused when you're in it. But I feel like when you come out of this energy, I feel like you're gonna kind of deviate your attention to something else. And again, it feels like it's something external, something, again, that's creative, something you're passionate about, something that either connects to your work or, it connects to doing something fun, okay? Which, and I feel like that's where your main focus is going to be. Like trying to lift your vibration, trying to make sure that you're in a happy place, okay? And I just see, see that you're gonna be very determined to achieve something, okay? So it's like you have, yeah, like this idea and you're going to move forwards with it, okay? Like there's gonna be no stopping you, I really feel like in these next 48 hours, group three. Like I said, you're very determined and set to get what you want. Okay, then we've got ancestors. And sacred mountain. Look at all of these reds, reds and oranges coming through. It's giving me strong sacral chakra energy. So you may also be feeling quite emotional, but because the sacral chakra represents your emotions, but also your creativity as well as your sensuality. So yeah, I do feel like it's sacral chakra energy you're gonna be connected to the most these next 48 hours. So as I said, obviously you could be feeling quite emotional, you could be doing something creative, you're passionate about connecting with somebody in a passionate way. But you could also be drawn to wearing these colors. You may be drawn to wearing reds, oranges, yellows, browns, okay? These very warm toned colors. For some of you, this may even be a tan. For some of you might even get burned in the sun. So maybe be careful. Um, if you are tanning in the sun or maybe you're not intentionally trying to but yeah for some of you may get a bit red I'm seeing a lot of like flushed like flushed redness red cheeks okay so again you may get quite hot um, but again these could be colors like I said you feel drawn to wearing maybe even drawn to purchasing but sacred mountain is like strong earth energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn okay so we've got strong Leo strong earth okay so these may be other people that you're connected to over the next 48 hours, but yeah, I feel like there's something about wanting to remain still. Even though we have connections to travel, to movement, there's something about, I don't know, things being, again, heated and then gra being grounded, like coming to a solid place. 
like where yeah you feel much stronger so it may be again something that you let go of helps you to feel strong so say this is like a tension let's say this is an argument you may feel like you're able to handle it in a cool calm collected way or that you're able to stand your ground when it comes to this situation like you're not going to allow anybody to walk all over you or to disrespect you like you're going to be very very strong in your convictions i feel like and maybe strong in yeah what you truly believe in so it could be a matter of different beliefs differences of opinion that you're having with somebody okay but for those of you that get into a passionate situation where it's more sensual you may feel like like you know like you just take a weight off like oh i can breathe again or i can just relax like you know we're we're together again or we're you know we're we're physically connected to each other now we can kind of relax once the deed is done you know but then i also feel like you are going to be connected with your ancestors over the next 48 hours okay now of course this won't feel probably direct to you it may feel indirect it may be you even channel them through your dreams you may be connected to yeah, your past in some way i'm getting south node activity here so something about the past but so you may receive information about your ancestors okay and what they did you know what they achieved maybe you've done like ancestry or something maybe you get the results back of that or dna potentially i know that's a very specific one for some of you um, but this could as well be you're connected more with your family, maybe even long lost family, family you haven't met before, or family you haven't connected with. Or again, you might be speaking to one of your parents or something, or again, another family member who will share something about their family, okay, like the, that have passed on, that will be helpful to you in some way, okay? But it's like you're following in the footsteps of your ancestors in some way. It feels like, certainly the next 48 hours, okay? So let's just see what else is coming through. And then I will look at the fishbowl messages to clarify. And if this is resonating with you, by the way, group three, please comment a yellow emoji or anything of your choice. Just lets me know that I'm on the right path. So I would love to know your thoughts. Okay, and then we've got fire guardian. And of course, you may, it may not resonate just yet, but please feel free to come back to the video within 48 hours and let us know if it did resonate. Okay, so I'm not surprised to see the fire guardian here because we've had so much fire coming through, haven't we? Ignite your passions. So Aries, Leo and Sagittarius energy also very strongly here, okay? Something definitely is gonna ignite your passions. Like I said, for some of you, it is gonna be a person. It feels more so that it is a person coming through, okay? But like I said, I feel like it's gonna be in multiple ways. Like you may have a romantic, sensual connection. You may potentially have an argument. But then you also will connect with your creative side, with your emotional side, okay? Because regardless, I feel like you are going to almost maybe utilize this energy, maybe this, this fire that you feel you'll be able to channel into something very positive, okay? Because say, for example, you are angry, let's just say you are, and then you feel like you want to get out of that angry state. So maybe you decide, you know what, I'm going to do a painting right now to calm me down. OK, or I'm going to focus on my work or I'm going to go out and do something fun. I'm going to go meet my friends. We're going to go and watch, watch a movie at the cinema. Or I'm going to go to a restaurant or something, something that you feel positive about, something that makes you feel good within yourself. I feel like you're going to lean into off the back of whatever this this passionate encounter is. OK, again, whether it feels good or bad, I just feel like almost maybe even because if it's a good connection if it's a positive sensual one you may feel like because maybe you get too up in your head about it maybe you get too obsessed maybe you get too like possessive over it and so you feel like i need to switch my energy i need to focus on other things external to this connection okay and then we've got moon take note of intuitive messages so you are going to be very connected to your intuition and your emotions these next 48 hours okay i feel like you will be following them as well like, yeah, because again, all of this water connects right to your emotions. And I do feel, yeah, there's this part of you that will feel like you're just going with that flow. Okay, you're following those intuitive messages that you're getting. You may not, and that's the thing with intuition, you don't always realize you're, you're doing it until afterwards. You're like, oh, wow, my intuition led me here. But it's not like in your mind you were thinking, oh, I'm going to go down this path and this is going to create this. It's like you may have a different motive or agenda before moving forwards towards something. But then the result of it will be 
something you didn't expect, but will also be a welcome surprise, okay? But it is also guiding you to take note of the intuitive messages coming through. So try not to ignore these messages, like take note, maybe even literally write them down in your notes app if you're seeing spiritual signs or messages or you, you're getting spiritual hits in some way. You are gonna be getting a lot of spiritual hits. But it may be that you're so distracted by what's going on that you may struggle to always follow that. So this is why I feel like it's guiding you to take note of what's coming through for you. You're definitely going to be hit at getting a lot of psychic hits these next 48 hours. So let's take a look at your fishbowl messages now and see what's going to be happening for you over the next 48 hours. Group number three. What's going to be happening for you? Okay. Walk away with your head held high. Makes sense, makes sense with that energy. So yeah, whatever this situation is, you will be walking away with your head held high, with dignity, okay? Where you feel, yeah, you've done or said the right thing, okay? Or you've stood strong in your convictions or you've gone along with what felt right in the moment for you, okay? We've got yes. Okay, so it may be that there's, if, if you've had a yes or no question ruminating in your mind as you've been watching this, the answer is a yes. Because maybe you're wondering in your head, is it going to be with this person? Yes. Okay, is the situation going to resolve? Yes. Or whatever it may be, it's a yes. Or somebody may say yes to you. You might ask them something and they'll say yes. Okay, we've got news incoming. So yeah, you are going to receive some kind of new information. Definitely, like, it, and the fact that it's news incoming, it's not just going to be something silly. It's not something you're going to expect. It's definitely news. Maybe you're expecting or hoping for, but it's going to be big. I feel like it's going to be quite monumental. This news. Um, we've got callous. Okay, so it may be somebody is a little bit callous, a little uncaring. That again could be what causes an argument. Could also be you. You may appear to be callous or uncaring about a situation, which could, like I said, incite some sort of anger. And uh, we've got a sense of humour. Okay, so I feel like you will be laughing a lot, actually. There's going to be a lot of things to laugh about. And maybe this is also you laughing at yourself. Like, even if you're able to see, you know, if you're able to look at yourself objectively and if you do something and then you're like, why did I do that? And you may be able to, yeah, laugh at yourself. But it may be you're connected with somebody that also has a very similar sense of humor to you. And we've got petite. So it could be somebody that's quite small, okay, shorter than you or that just, you know, is quite petite, could even be a child, okay, or somebody younger. We've got provide. I need to get this off my chest. Yeah, I mean, so maybe that there's something you've needed that is going to come to you that is provided to you. Maybe it's information. Maybe it's that. I just heard demure in my head. I don't know if anyone has seen that on TikTok recently and it's like been viral lately, but yeah, demure, demure. I don't know why I heard that, but someone's going to come through and provide something to you where you can, yeah, either walk away with your head held high or again, it's like how you feel within um, and that you're able to do so. OK, but it may be something else is provided to you, some something monetary. Let's hope. Why not? Um, we've got conquer your fears. So, yeah, there will be something you are afraid to do. Again, maybe it is to stand up for yourself. Maybe it's about sharing something. Maybe this is you, like you need to get something off your chest. So you may decide that you need to share your feelings with somebody. Okay, but this may be them as well. That could be the news incoming. Somebody comes in and decides to share how they really feel about you or they need to get, you know, what's going on off their chest. Interesting, we've got blunt which again kind of makes sense because we've got callous, we've got blunt. So maybe something is said in quite a blunt way, but it is taken um, taken in a, an unkind way, but it's not really, it's just very to the point. Okay, and then we've got blue eyes. So yeah, this could be somebody that has blue eyes that you are going to be connected to. We've got situationship and long lasting. Okay, so maybe this is a situationship that has been sort of going on for quite some time. Okay. It may be something that you're wanting. Maybe you're wanting a situation to turn it into a relationship that could be long lasting. OK, maybe somebody else comes in and says this to you. Say, hey, look, I really care about you. I don't want this to be a situation anymore. I want this to evolve to something more serious, to something that is going to stand the test of time. OK, but yeah, definitely there's a situation here. It seems very prominent in your next 48 hours. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of connection with this person over the next 48 hours for sure. Okay, group three. 
So if this resonates, please do comment below. Again, I would love to know your feelings. Remember to come back to the video in the next 48 hours if it doesn't resonate yet. I would love to know what you think. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website and my TikTok is below. I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now.